What's up, guys? So we're gonna talk about the Viltrox Speed Booster. But what? Can't... Please go ahead. Well, before that, I figured it'd be pretty cool to show everybody what I just learned. I mean, it could change the world. Sure, maybe. I doubt it could change the world. It doesn't hurt to have big dreams, though, I guess. I'm excited. I can't wait to show you. It's, it's something I haven't even shown you yet. I mean, it's hard to do right, but if it is... Wait, 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 wait. You're not talking about the horizontal flip again. No! It's bigger than, than that. That's all you've been talking about since the... And I don't talk about the horizontal flip that much. Okay. I mean, I did just make a video on it last week, if you... If, well, I mean, you knew. If you guys are interested, I... Okay, I need to concentrate to do this, though. If I were to do it wrong, it could split the fabric of time and space itself, causing an interdimensional rift to a world where chaos theory is orderly. Ships fly and planes sail. Green is blue and blue is red. None of the wars were fought with guns but pillows. Dreams are reality and realities are our dreams. It could even tear our loved ones apart on the molecular level, leading to the invention of the Epstein Drive, forever improving our space travel abilities, and single-handedly transforming our civilization into a level two. Adam, Sip. Adam breathe. <laughs> Breathe. Breathe. What? I think you kind of got carried away there. Everything sounds terrible besides the war part. That sounds okay. Anyways, I think you're overreacting about this whole thing. Maybe. Or maybe I just die. Wait, what? Yeah, I'll probably die. Uh, to be honest, I've never done it wrong, so I don't really know what happens. Um... Do you think you should do it then? What the hell? Where'd he go? We gotta find him. I figured out how all these doors work, so let's go. Adam, over here! You should have waited for me. I was gonna be back. I mean, over here. Yeah, it is pretty. Well, that was the weirdest feeling. See, yo sé, nunca nadie acostumbra a eso. Wait, why are you speaking Spanish? Yo, no. Estoy hablando inglés. No, Spanish, good sir. Ay, es un efecto secundario, creo. Well, it's already been a long time. How long am I gonna make all these lovely people wait to see the review? Hmm. Tengo una idea. Tú puedes traducir para mí. Mew. That would take too long. Screw it, just do it. Let's go. Bueno. Bueno. Eso es el Voltrox Speed Booster. Put that... Put that down. Just get out of here. Fine. Okay. Okay. So this is the Viltrox Speed Booster. They also make one that's just an adapter, but I feel that this is actually worth what it costs extra. So if you ask me, this is possibly the best thing you could buy if you have an APS-C camera. Why? Well, if you're like me, money's a bit tight and I like to have it around. And lenses can be expensive. Adam has the Canon M50 that actually uses the EFM mounts from the Canon lineup of lenses. They're relatively new, but the problem is, is they're expensive and they don't work on all cameras, unless you have an APS-C camera from Canon. So personally, I would like to upgrade my camera in the future to a full frame or something of the sort. And if I bought all EFM mount lenses, I'd have to buy all my lenses again for a full frame camera, unless my camera uses the same sensor. I mean, let's face it, lenses are one of the most fun things you can buy for your camera when you're in photography or just starting out. The difference they can make is crazy, mind-blowing sometimes, but only if you buy it, have to buy them once. Plus, the EFM lens selection is, is a little bit light. They don't have a huge selection yet being new. But with the Speed Booster, you have access to Canon's EF lens lineup, which is huge and well-known, and in some cases, cheap or cheaper. Best of all, they work on a lot of cameras, more or less future-proofing your investments. Now, going from EFM to EF isn't the only thing this little guy does. It also drops your f-stop by one. It focuses all the light that would be in a full frame lens onto your APS-C sensor and reduces your crop factor by 0.71, letting you get way more out of your crop sensor as it is. The Canon M50 has a 1.6 times crop factor, so a 50 millimeter is more the equivalent of an 85 millimeter, but 
with this guy, it would be closer to about maybe 60, 65 millimeters. It also has the capability of updating its firmware. If you see the little USB drive, you can plug it right into your computer and update for things like autofocus and image stabilization. Not all lenses are compatible off the get-go, but Viltrox is constantly updating the software for this little guy. Now, I really can't show you how it goes onto the camera because, well, you are the camera and we only have one camera at the moment, sorry. Just like any lens, you have the indicators right here and there. On that Canon M50, you line up the white dot with the white dot, twist until it clicks. To put on your EF mount lens, you would just line up your red dot with your red dot on your lens, which actually, hold on, red dot on your lens. You line up the red dot with the red dot on the Voltrek speed booster, push together and twist until it locks. This little lever on the speed booster is what releases the lock on your lens. Just like on your camera, how you have the button or, or lever, same thing. And helps with changing out lenses fast and easily. Now I've been using this guy for a couple months and haven't noticed anything crazy in the field of autofocus, still razor sharp. And chromatic aberration isn't any worse than it already is on the Canon M50. So unless you're pixel peeping, you're not gonna really notice it. I had noticed slightly more vignetting on the outside of my frame, of my photos, and a little bit of barrel distortion, especially on a guy like this. And it's kind of known for having a bit of barrel distortion when it's all the way out, that telephoto lens. But it's easy enough to fix in post. It does make your, your camera a little heavier and a little bigger, but not by much. This guy doesn't weigh too much. But that being said, it's, it might not be recommended for vlogging. If you're going to be walking around with a camera in your hand, I, it, it might make it a little bit heavier. You want to go with lighter than anything. Like right now on Adam's Canon M50, he's got the 11 to 22 millimeter lens that's an EFM mount. Just because of the compact factor of it, it just makes it easier to walk around with if he is to vlog. It also has a quarter inch screw or threaded hole so that way you can connect it to the tripod to give it a bit more stabilization or gimbal to keep things a bit more balanced. Being that we use a Canon M50, which is a great starter camera, but it's not really a long-term camera unless you're gonna keep it around for a B camera for cinematography purposes, or you're just starting out, it does make a great starter camera. The Viltrox Speed Booster helps you ring out all the M50 has to offer. And I'm not getting paid to say any of this stuff, I just think that it's, it's, it's a great product, honestly. I, I've bought one myself and I'm just starting out and it's nice to be able to invest into camera lenses and everything that I'll use later. You know, starting out, there's a whole plethora of things that you could get for, for your camera. It's easy to get caught up in buying lenses, but when I buy a lens, I don't want to have to buy all new lenses when I get a new camera. So that's why I think this is a good product. I kind of want to pass it on to you guys, so hopefully it'll help you out as well. So let us know what you think about the Speed Booster. Is it something that you'd pick up, or are you happy with the EFM lens lineup? Leave us a comment below and let us know. Great, you're back. I was just back. Mejor. Ahora ya no está el payaso. Gracias para to todos sus vistos. Si te gusta el video, dame un me gusta o no, que importa. Y recuerda, suscríbete para mejores videos que esta en el futuro. También sigue mi Instagram, te juro es bueno. Pero como siempre, sigue creativo y siempre pushes tú. También voy a arreglar eso.